Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Oceans are still an enigma for us, and divers are always keen to find out new things underneath the water surface. In today's video, we will see the Titanic wreck, a reef full of human skeletons, and eerie encounters with freakish marine animals. But let's start with the biggest underwater cemetery. Originally known as Chuck Lagoon, Truck Lagoon Wreck is situated 40 meters deep in the Central Pacific Ocean and is part of Micronesia. The whole area is extremely spooky and sends chills down the spine. And why wouldn't it? There are allegedly 4,500 human skeletons and skulls scattered across the ocean floor. During 1944 and 1945, the United States and its allies attacked Japanese facilities and vessels in Truck Lagoon sinking more than 60 ships and destroying over 400 aircraft, causing the demise of almost 4,500 Japanese personnel. In 1969, when an expedition team visited the area, they found not only the sunken ships, planes, and wrecked vessels, but some of the things were still of bodies. The Japanese government immediately started a recovery operation to pull as many bodies as possible, but they didn't provide a solid number. Today, these wrecks offer a glimpse of how brutal our warfare was just eight decades ago. Brinicles, Finger of Death Though the concept of brinicles was first given in the 1960s, it was not until 2011 when they were first filmed by three deep sea divers and experts from BBC Frozen Planet. Basically, Brinicles are a twisting column of super cold ice, which drives itself down to the ocean floor and freezes everything to death that it touches. The science behind this is simple. In super cold weather, a sheet of ice forms above the sea surface, and the highly concentrated saline water from the ice enters seawater. The brine attracts seawater, whose temperature is obviously higher than brine. The attracted water instantly freezes and forms a deadly finger of death. The clip filmed by the experts shows how one brinicle froze a whole lot of starfish scattered on the ocean floor to death. Anything that touches it dies. Diver finds sleeping whales. This scuba diver was gubbing his way when he spotted a pair of mother and calf sperm whales standing in a very peculiar way in the ocean. He moved around to find a whole social group of sperm whales standing in the same upright posture near the surface of the Indian Ocean. Well, turns out they're just sleeping. Yup, no matter how weird this may sound, this is their sleeping posture. They all rest in a column-like formation. The findings confirm that sperm whales around the world practice this same vertical sleeping posture and spend about 7% of their time asleep, which is less than any other mammal on the planet. Sarcastic Fringehead As weird as the name sounds, this species is equally bizarre, a direct middle finger to the aesthetic senses of any creature on the planet. They are ambush predators and have been dubbed as spectacularly ugly in scientific literature. And, well, all the reasons justify it. Large mouth, ill-sounding voice, and the fact that they wear all the stupid colors from Spectrum all over their body, and then use that color to communicate with each other. They are a true freak species on the planet. And God, they fight a lot. Yup, they are extremely territorial and are always keen to fight. Yep, he's coming out to fight. Look at it go, stupid fella. Malpeak Crosses. 65 feet deep in the sea, 40 crosses are scattered in La Palma, and the reason behind these crosses is quite spooky and dates back to 400 years ago. In 1570, 40 Portuguese missionaries were boarded by a crew of French pirates led by Jacques de Sors, who wanted to steal the cargo and ship. The man didn't want those 40 people, and he threw them into the sea where they drowned. They were all called martyrs, and in 2000, 40 crosses were dropped where the incident is believed to have happened to create a memorial cemetery for those missionaries. May their souls rest in peace. Titanic Rex 
You guys must have wondered why we couldn't find any wrecks or human remains from Titanic. Well, because the depth at which they sank, almost 4,000 meters, meant that the human bodies, along with skeletal remains, must have dissolved in the seawater. The only thing left of human presence in shipwrecks were the pairs of shoes the unfortunate people were wearing. The leather didn't dissolve, and we found a lot of pairs of shoes from the Titanic wreck. One of those was of a 12-year-old boy. Shoes, the only remains of once living humans. 2,000-year-old Roman ship. This one is a pretty popular deep sea discovery. I'm sure many of you watching this entry might have an idea about where it will lead to. The oldest computer. Yep, if you guessed it, congrats. If not, don't worry, let us tell you what it is. In the first century BC, a Roman era ship sank near the Greek island of Antikythera some 2,000 years ago. When a team of divers expedited the wreck, they found classical bronze, marble statues, and a complex astronomical object called the Antikythera Mechanism. It was later described as the oldest computer in the world, one of the most extraordinary archaeological discoveries. It was a hand-powered orrery, an analog computer which was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses of stars and sun. The shipwreck later on revealed another secret, a 2,000-year-old human skeleton. The experts found rib bones, arm bones, and two pieces of femur, which were then brought to the laboratory. The team is positive about extracting DNA from the skull to study the ancient men, which has never been done before on this old bones found underwater. Jellyfish the size of a human. Imagine a jellyfish as huge as an average human being. One second, hang on. Why even imagine? I can surely show you one. Meet the barrel jellyfish, which was spotted off the coast of Cornwall some two years ago. This species of jellyfish is also known as a dustbin lid jellyfish, thanks to their lid-type brain part, and is the second largest species of jellyfish found in United Kingdom waters. They are very rare to spot, but this truly epic clip shows their features quite comprehensively. Goblin Shark before moving any further, just watch this monstrous shark attacking. There's no exaggeration if I say that goblin sharks are the most freakish and gruesome shark species of the deep ocean. Just take a look at its jaws. Evolution was really contemplating to scare the shit out of humans when it made goblin sharks. Noted for their three inch long jaw that goes out to catch and bring back the prey in the mouth, goblins are just like xenomorphs from the alien movies. It's very rare to spot them because they tend to keep a low-key profile thousands of feet deep in the ocean. But if you do, well, we wish you the best of luck to try not to leak your pants. Monkfish. Imagine diving for a thrilling experience and you come across a monster. It might be a slander if I call this beautiful fish a monster, but it surely looks like one. The angry monkfish protruding eyes, devilish body, and oh god, look at those lips! This might not be the scariest monster of the deep sea, but it can freak anyone out. Divers find Mimic Octopus. First discovered in 1998, Mimic Octopus is one of the wonders of nature. The dudes disguise themselves so well, it almost baffles our own mind. They have been blessed by evolution to not only change the color of their skin pigments to blend in with the environment, but also the shape and movements to mimic other more deadly species of marine animals to scare away its predators. Till this date, they are known to mimic at least 15 marine animals, including flatfish, mighty lionfish, and scary sea snakes. When these two divers found a mimic octopus, their happiness knew no bounds, and they were more than happy to share that clip with us. A reef full of human skeletons. The uncharted territory of the ocean is in itself chilling, and there are diving centers who have pledged to make it scarier for us. This diver dove into a creepy reef full of human skeletons, World War II relics, and creepy statues. One thing that you should note is that these are all props used by people to make coral reefs an adrenaline-filled diving point. For example, human bodies start decomposing in the ocean almost immediately, and the skeleton also shatters. The reason? The ligaments that join our skeleton together dissolve in salty water, making the bones leave each other. 
thus scattering the bones here and there. An intact skeleton simply means a prop in the deep ocean. Diver and Ocean Sunfish Ocean sunfish have recently gained a lot of popularity among netizens. The reason is its peculiar shape. The fish has no tail and is often called swimming head because of its immense body. A group of divers had a lifetime experience when they came across a huge ocean sunfish. They are called so because they float near the surface of water on their side to warm themselves up in the sunlight. Also called mola mola, ocean sunfish can grow up to two meters in length and is the heaviest among all other bony fish, reaching up to 6,000 pounds in weight. The tailless fish generates her swimming power by its mighty dorsal fins, which also allows it to swim sideways. This weird and oddly shaped fish is one of the most amazing marine animals in the world. Underwater Fossil Graveyard It's very unlikely to find the remains of a land animal in underwater caves, but in a remote, deserted region of Madagascar, a diving team of anthropologists and paleontologists found an underwater graveyard of lemurs, which is the largest single fossil collection of lemur remains ever found. Evil Maya Cave, Mexico. Maya caves were sacred for the ancient Mayan people. Until this date, the locals residing near the caves don't let their children wander near them because of the immense fear they have of these evil caves today. It is situated in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, and it was rumored that human sacrifice was practiced in these caves. When a team of divers and researchers dove into a submerged cenote, the rumor was found to be true. Among various other relics of Mayan people, human skeletal remains were also found scattered all over the cave. The cave system is notorious among divers for being extremely treacherous and difficult to dive in. Baltic Sea Anomaly A group of sea divers were diving together in the Baltic Sea when they saw a 300 meter long carved path in the ocean. They followed the path, which led them all to a 60 meter thick circular entity. There was a mysterious alien spacecraft-like entity right in front of them and no one in the world can answer what it was when they came out and spread the word. The spacecraft popularized by the name of Baltic Sea Anomaly was discovered in 2011, some 90 meters deep in the sea, and is still regarded as an unsolved mystery, though dozens of suggestions have been given to what it might be about. To no avail. Underwater Altlithium Village well, we all fantasize about the presence of a united kingdom before time when there were no continents, but then a huge flood came and everything was destroyed. Well, not sure about the kingdom, but just 400 meters off the shores of Israel, an underwater Neolithic village of Altlit Yam was found in the 1980s. A team of divers found a settlement with houses, wells, and almost 60 human skeletons there. However, it was estimated by the experts that life in the village ended even before the village was submerged. It is also speculated that a tsunami might have wiped out humans from the region, and afterwards, the village was engulfed by water during the Ice Age. Shark Kisses the Diver A shark whisperer was fully confident of his techniques and skills to handle these carnivores, to an extent where he claimed that even little kids can tackle one if they learn it. Well, we saw how efficient it was when the diver went for a full smooch by flipping the shark over in the water. Construing lips as food, the shark bit the man in the face. <laughs> and whoa, there goes your pretty technique and skills to handle the shark. He was fine, by the way. Mysterious Crop Circles Crop circles have baffled us for decades over the ground. But in 1995, a mysteriously intricate circle filmed off the coast of southern Japan surprised marine biologists. It was named the crop circles of the ocean floor. They were then often spotted on the ocean floor, reaching seven feet in diameter, and had patterns that baffled the experts. Where these crop circles were coming from remained an enigma, and the local divers termed them mystery circles. Until 2011. Yup. In 2011, a male pufferfish was found creating these elaborate designs to seduce females. Now, anything weird on our planet often finds its way to being laid on. But yeah, pufferfish are now known for their unique, 
complex and intricate courtship display in which they produce large geometric circles in the sand. Goparil. Look at this thing. Yeah, yeah, keep looking. And here it goes. What just happened here? Well, meet the gulper eel, the fish who deflates her mouth in seconds and is no less than a wonder of nature. It has a pocket-like mouth, and whenever it's food time, the fish inflates it to swallow very large prey. The fascinating mouth and a unique way of moving is peculiar to gulper fish. And well, we couldn't be more surprised by nature's wonderful work. Let me blow up so I can show them how big I am. Incredible. Wow. The Locomotive Graveyard. A man named Paul Helper was mapping the ocean floor when his equipment touched something metallic in 1985, some 90 feet under the water. He became curious, and after some repeated dives into the water, he realized that he had stumbled upon two massive pieces of metal, which turned out to be steam engines and a train wreck. Thus, the famous New Jersey Rail Cemetery of 1985 was discovered. Though the murky water did offer some resistance, specialist divers went into the final resting place of those locomotives for further research and found out that they were rare Planet Class 222T types. It still remains a mystery how the two steam engines sank, as there's no historical record of them ever being built, and no record of them being lost is found. Experts, however, say that the engines must have gone lost during their transportation from Boston to Mid-Atlantic, where they were caught at a storm five miles off the coast of Long Branch, New Jersey. 13,000-year-old human remains. Do you guys know that the oldest human remains ever found in the U.S. were discovered underwater in the cave networks of modern-day Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula? Those remains were 13,000 years old and were unearthed by a group of divers in 2007. It belonged to a girl named Naya, who plummeted to death some 190 feet deep in a pit. The pit was underwater, but quite surprisingly, was completely dry. The conditions suited really well, and the remains were well preserved over the period of thousands of years. The DNA studies have concluded that Naya was a genetic forerunner of modern Native Americans. The Lost Lion City. The original name of this lost city is Xi Cheng, which translates into Lion City in English. It was built in 621 AD by the Tang Dynasty near Qiandao Lake in the Zhejiang province of China. The city was used as a country by the ancient civilizations and dynasties till 1959, when the city was forcefully evacuated by Chinese authorities to make space for the Xinan River Dam. 300,000 people were forcefully evicted from their homes, and the hydro project flooded the city, which finally rested in the Qiandao Lake. Lasioganthus dinama. Popularly known as anglerfish, Lasioganthus dinama is a freakish species of deep sea, which was recently discovered by a team of deep sea expeditionists. First spotted in the northern Gulf of Mexico, they are found through the world's waters, and God, they have a very advanced system of catching prey. They have bioluminescence in their weird heads, and when you're a fish residing 1,000 to 1,500 meters deep in an ocean where no sunlight reaches, you can use your own light to attract your prey straight into your mouth. It's ridiculous. Evolution really did a joke with small prey. Those poor guys don't even realize they're landing in the mouth of their predator. The bright light fools the unsuspecting prey straight into its mouth. Anglerfish, on the other hand, are really cool. Whenever it's mealtime, just turn on the light bulb on your head, and here comes your meal after all. Musa, Mexico. Musa is the biggest underwater museum in Cancun, Mexico, spreading across 13,000 square feet under the water on the fragile coral reef of Mexico. The best way to explore it is through scuba diving, as there are around 500 life-size statues standing 28 feet deep in the ocean, ready to give you an adrenaline rush of its kind. Over time, the statues have become an integral part of the ecosystem on the coral reef. Around 750,000 people visit the museum every year, and it was launched in 2008 in collaboration of a British artist and some local Mexican artists to conserve art and marine life simultaneously, which was a really creative idea. 
See you next time.